Hi everyone. Welcome to this video session of implementation of transition diagram which is a part of a lexical analyzer in a compiler part. One of the phase of the compiler. At the end of this session the learner will be able to write a small programming code for a given transition diagram or a pattern. The transition diagram is implemented by the regular expressions. Consider this transition diagram where it is having uh, state 0 as the beginning state and these are the accepting states 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and 8. Every accepting state is returning two things here. One is the category of the token that is a token itself relo and the attribute of it, what kind of token it is. So, if the transition diagram moving from 0 to 6 that is this greater than and then equal to it is moving to state number 7, it means that it is greater than equal to token. Next transition diagram is for identifier and keywords. So, any identifier or a keyword. How the identifier and keyword is there? It is starting with a letter and it may have letter or digit if it is an identifier. For a, for a keyword, it is always all the characters are there. So, it is accepting that and it is returning two things. One is a return this it is calling a function called as get token. Get token is returning id as a token if it is an identifier and the keyword itself it if it is a keyword. And if the keyword is there then install id function is returning 0 because it is nothing to do with the symbol table entry there. But if it is an identifier then the entry for that particular uh, identifier is made in the symbol table if it is not there and it is returning if entry is there then it is returning the pointer of it. This transition diagram is for unsigned numbers. Uh, let us see that. Uh, so, this is for the exponential values, uh, the fractional exponential values. These uh, the, you can see that uh, few tokens of lexums it is reading. This is 12.3 A4 and this one that is accepted by this and it is calling install num function which is installing the number in the literal table and it is returning a pointer to that. The next transition diagram is uh, for the simple float uh, fractional values. The examples like 12.3, 10.15, these numbers are recognized by this one and the it is make generating a token for it. This is for the numeric constant like uh, 3, 1, 4, simple numeric constant like a simple digit 9 and uh, this number some so simply one by one all the digits it is reading and again some it is installing uh, the function in that one install num which is returning making the entry in the literal table and it is returning a token also. This transition diagram is for white spaces. White spaces means the extra lines number of lines tab spaces or simple spaces and those and it is returning ws. Now some basics are there. Uh, the transition diagrams are uh, usually used for following one by one determination of the tokens. One by one all the tokens are written by this transition diagram. What happens if the failure occurs in our current transition diagram? There are many transition diagrams. So what happens if failure occurs? So if failure occurs then uh, the transition diagram retracts. It will come to the beginning of the lexum again where it has failed and it will go to the next transition diagram that is we call it as activation of the next transition diagram. And if failure occurs in all transition diagram then it might it means that it is not at all accepting the lexum. So, there might be an error in that. So, it is detecting that error and it is calling the error recovery routine and error recovery routine will recover that error. Usually white space is uh, expected to occur frequently. It means every after every lexum there might be white spaces are there. So, for white spaces the transition diagram for this is put near the beginning of every transition diagram. And in this implementation every small state of a transition diagram is having a small, small segment of a code. We are going to implement that later on. Uh, let us see few basic things in that. Uh, state is a variable we are using here for uh, storing the current state of the transition diagram. Start is the variable we are using which is holding the start state of the current transition diagram as there are many transition diagrams. Uh, lexical value it is uh, storing the value returned by install id function or install num function. And fail, 
fail is a transition function which is called for whenever a failure occurs in any transition diagram there are two things it is doing one thing is if the current transition diagram fails it retracts the forward pointer it will come to the beginning of the lexem and it will start the next transition diagram and that lexem is given to the next transition diagram to accept and if everywhere it fails every transition diagram then the fail calls the error recovery routine so these are the transition diagrams we have we are considering here for our implementation uh, so there are six transition diagrams are there every transition diagram uh, look at here this is starting with zero and these are the accepting states this uh, uh, transition diagram for uh, keywords and identifier it is starting with nine the transition diagram for fractional values uh, exponential values it is starting with 12 uh, remember these one because uh, these states we are going to use for the implementation uh, so state number uh, 20 is the start state of the next transition diagram which is for the fractional value similarly for the white spaces these are the things so total six transition diagrams we are considering and for this we are implementing a code let us see that so this is the implementation of a transition diagram at the beginning we are initializing uh, three things here uh, make the state current state as zero as we are starting with the first transition diagram first state is zero and the first transition diagrams start state is zero so start is holding the transition diagrams initial state lexical value is just declared because it is holding the values written by install id and install now the fail function fail function calls for the failure of the transition diagram so if the first transition diagram fails which is the beginning initial state of the first transition diagram zero then it has to move to the next transition diagram which is starting with nine state number nine so that is this similarly if the second transition diagram fails then it has to move to this next transition diagram which is starting with 12 like this the ne ne the remaining transition diagrams are there and if all are fail failure then it is calling a recover function so this is the thing fail calls when the transition diagram for a give uh, given diagram is failing and it moves to the next transition diagram you can see here return start means it is returning the start state of the transition diagram the next part of this is there is one more function called as next token what this next token is doing it is returning all the tokens so this is a continuous process we which we are implementing now in this for every case every state as a case we are writing a segment of a code so for white space if uh, it is at the beginning as i told that white space is usually there for uh, the beginning of the every transition diagram so this is the first transition diagram so if it is reading the white space it has to do nothing so that is done by this one otherwise if no white space is there it has to implement its own states so state z from state 0 by reading less than it is moving to state number 1 similarly if state equal to is there then it has to move to next state as 5 so these are the three types of states so these are for the relational operators similarly we are implementing all case 1 to 8 whatever the number of states are there for relational operator now pause the video here and write what is the purpose of the next care function you can see the code here just imagine for what purpose we are using a next care function now the purpose of the next care function is it is reading next character in a buffer as there is a the two characters the uh, lexums are written uh, stored in a buffer so one by one the pointer is moving and every time the next character is moving one by one by the incrementing the forward pointer there so it is returning a character pointed by that forward pointer and that is incremented now the implementation case number 25 that is state number 25 case number 25 it is reading the next character and what is the next thing if it is a digit then it has to move to next state that is uh, state number 26 else it has to call the fail function if it is the state number 26 then it has to call it has to check whether it is a digit okay and then it is moving to the next state so and if it is a number simple number then it is accepted and uh, 
whenever it is reaching to the last transition diagram at the end of that it is retracting by one and it is calling an install num function uh, this install num function is entering uh, the number in the literal table and it is returning that you can see in the earlier part of code here uh, as case number nine is there it is reading letter if it is reading letter it will go to the next state if it is a digit or letter for case number 10 then it is moving to the next it is retaining in that state only so like this for every state a part of code is written now in this one you can see that it is returning the retract function it is retracting the forward pointer by one character so that whatever the next thing is there it has to read the next lexum again from the beginning so it is not ignoring that part whatever the extra character it has read so that is the purpose of the retraction and then it is calling the install num function and it is making the number entry in the literal table so this is what the implementation of the transition diagram these are my references thank you